Hello everyone, it is Sunday, July 17th, and I am picking up my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, where I think I am in the last stretch of the game. I'm planning to beat it today. I'm going to do my best. So let's get started on that. I've already helped Triss with her goal, and then I assassinated Radovid. That was the last thing I did last night. Now we're going to go see what Avalok wants. Need a hanky? Gotta admit, never expected this of you. You humans have mm, unusual tastes. How did you fare on Bald Mountain? Need to ask. You're a sage. I ask as a courtesy. A concept you clearly forgot when you left without uttering a word. Siri was in a hurry. I know. So she wrote in her letter. But that is not my concern. You eliminated Imlareth adeptly. So adeptly you might say you inspired me. Meaning? The loss of one of his great generals has weakened Eredin significantly. Two others remain. How do we get rid of them? Caranthia is a loyalist, but Gels, that is another story. He was a devoted follower of our former king. And as it happens, Eredin poisoned our beloved ruler. How do you know? Or are you bluffing? Eredin made sure very few individuals knew of his betrayal. Most are now dead. Didn't answer my question. How matters not. What matters is, I know. He was in on it. I have an idea how to use this knowledge. Fine. So what do you propose? Why, to bring Gels here? Show him the truth of what happened. Fabulous plan. If we only knew where to find him. We do. In the land of the NL. Land of the NL? You don't recall. After all, you did travel with Eredin for some time. The land of the Elder Folk. The world where we arrived centuries ago. A world that is now our home. The Red Riders come from there. And it is there where we will find Gel. Think you're forgetting something. You and Siri might know how to travel between worlds, but me? Not so much. You clearly know there are many other worlds apart from the one where we now stand. They're linked by passages, hidden gateways that afford travel from one world to another. Of course, few know of these gateways, even fewer can locate them. Elven sages, for example? For example. One such passage will open soon near where we are, fortuitously enough. Between this noble edifice and the butcher's yard. That's our chance. Shall we go? Let's go. Fortuitously enough, that's a huge contrived coincidence that a portal's going to open up right in the middle of Novigrad, but they're trying to wrap up the plot, so I'll give them a break. Hey. house. Supposed to drive a godling from here. Supposed to? Decided it was harmless. Really? The haunted house? Okay. I like how in this last act here we're kind of revisiting all the major beats of the game so far. That's a cool touch. Oh, we're actually going to... here, past this wall. I saw this wall earlier and we never opened it. I wondered why. Interesting. This is the place. Once we enter, 
There'll be no returning until we reach Gels. Ready? Yes, let's go. Remember, wherever you land, search for a place that looks like this one. We shall meet sooner or later. Mean we'll be separated? It's possible. I lack your ward's talent. Zirel is the lady of time and space. I merely know how to use this arcane knowledge to a limited degree. It's time. <laughs> I'd like to take this loading screen to say that I love Stargate. And I'm reminded of that at this moment. Wow, that's a different environment. Yes? Where are we? Welcome to the Diderwet Desert. There's somewhere in our world. Ever seen such canyons in your world? Are you looking Dump. at the sky? There's a sun and two planets. Well, what is this place? A very old world, thoroughly raped and destroyed. I did Anything not like expect here. this. Mainly desert creatures, able to survive months on end without water. Oh, and large sand crabs beneath the surface. We must be careful they don't sense us. And before, were there any people or elves? Do you believe humanoids have a monopoly on destroying worlds? So what did live here? Sentient monsters of some sort? Look at those cliffs. Remind you of anything? Hmm. Look a bit like the bed of a giant river. Or the bottom of a sea. Mean there were water creatures here once? No creatures. Merely a sea. Trying to say that... That there are many different worlds and even more forms of life. Many of them intelligent, much more so, in fact, than you humans. But as it turns out, not even that could stop them from exhausting all the resources of their world. To the last drop. Ah, the portal. Looks more like a ruin. Appearances can be deceiving. So what are we waiting for? For it to open. Shouldn't take but a few moments. Sand crab. What's going on? The sand crabs have sensed our presence. Wonderful. Now where are we? Have a look. There it is. Now we just have to get there without getting eaten by anything. Or 
falling to our death. Vapors don't look terribly inviting. <laughs> shit. <coughs> shit. 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 my breath. Any longer and I'd have suffocated. A place of power, really? A place of power. It's got a Didn't expect to find that on another planet. <laughs> but hey, I didn't expect to be going to another planet at all, so... <coughs> Weird things are gonna happen. Should avoid those clouds. Or bolt through them. I don't think I was supposed to be able to do that, but I just did it. Oh, great. Okay, let's not panic. There we go. This looks like the Elf Womb World. Very cold. Cold. Freeze to death if I don't hide somewhere. And I gotta find that next passage quick. What the hell just happened? Light in a place like this. Someone must have lit it. With any luck, it was a certain grouchy elven sage. Snow's up to the rooftops. Wonder how long this blizzard's been blowing. 
How the hell did I get down there? Oh. Oh, I'm just picking up junk now. What's wrong with me? Okay. Of course, what else? I expected this. Sup guys, how's it going? Took you a while? Did you run into trouble? Hmm, no. Just taking in the sights. What is this place? Feels like I've been here before. You have. You fought Eridan's projection here. Before that, Siri fought here. For you. What are you talking about? Ever wondered how you managed to leave the Red Riders? Many times, but I don't remember a thing. Siri came for you. She sensed you were in danger, tore you from the hunt's grasp, then deposited you in the woods near Kaer Morhen. 
Did Aridin start hunting her because of that? Because of me? Why didn't she say anything? What would it have changed? Where are we? World of the NL? No. This is Ted Dera, the time of the end. The world destroyed by the White Frost. Alas, this awaits us all, though at differing stages of our existence. So calm when you say that. Eridan succumbed to his knowledge of the apocalypse. Fear rules him now. I'll not commit the same error. Care to clarify? Not here. Not now. Going after Gels is proving quite a trek. But I still don't know why he's so important. Eredin differs from the king he killed. Power for its own sake interests him. He has little patience for bureaucracy. He spends most of his time atop his steed, leading the Red Riders. So what does he need in the capital? A good viceroy. Gels is an excellent administrator and an even better plotter. He's the most dangerous individual amongst the NL. He got any weaknesses? Yes. He's righteous. I was hoping we wouldn't get separated. I warned you it could happen. Where'd your journey take you? Through a world whose son had just died. I barely reached the next passage in time. Light on the peak. Was that you? I thought it might aid your passage. After all, that is what lighthouses do. Show the way. Doesn't look safe here either. Let's go. This way. Next passage. When will it open? Shortly. of Awakening, formerly the Moon Palace, Gel's headquarters. <sighs> Beautiful. I'm glad to know you appreciate it. Elven architecture is a bit more sophisticated. I believe we're done for the day, my tulip. Be a dear and leave us alone. For I think we can agree this matter is between us and us alone, correct? Crivana Spain, Hap Coman Maka, and the Witcher of Rivia. Ketman. Do you like my new model? Something of Lara Doran about her, wouldn't you agree, Crivan? Her height, perhaps. Nothing more. <laughs> I see I've touched a tender spot. So let's change the subject, shall we? Care for a drink? Got any vodka? Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting you don't touch that filth, disgraceful as it is. Hmm. I must admit, you appearing here. Quite a surprise, Witcher. Incidentally, interesting choice of allies. Do you think Avalach is honest with you? Just curious. No, but honesty is not a facet of your species, so quit spewing bile won't gain you anything. I detect a shadow of impatience in your faces, it seems. So what brings you here? I've come to tell you who killed our king. You've gone through a great deal of trouble to reach me. 
So I must believe you've put equal effort into preparing this lie. You shall see the truth. You will dream it. You've been a neuromancer. My intuition was correct. This will be interesting. Better believe it. This way, please. Witcher Geralt. A true man of action. Might I know where we're going? To the world of the Enshe. Directly this time. Let's go, before any guards show up. <laughs> nice. Do to do. Any time now. I take it I needn't introduce our guest. Greetings, Cyril. So it's true. The swallow has befriended the fox. There's naught you can do to make us turn on one another. Havalach blackmailed you. Do you not remember? Tried to force you to warm our king's bed. Treated your body like a side of pork. I remember. But I also remember what you advise Eredin do with me once I was caught. And I remember what the Red Riders did at Kaer Morhen. I didn't come here to argue. The proof you promised. Where is it? You will see it. In your dream. Ah, yes. The Onera answer. Visions that cannot be fabricated. Do you wish to show me how Eredin murdered our king? What then? Am I to incite the NL against Eredin? Call for revolution? and proclaim Avalach our new king. You'll do what you want. If you decide to continue serving the regicide, so be it. Wouldn't even be surprised. Very well. Have your oracle summon dreams of my king's last moments. We shall all dream them, to make certain there are no misunderstandings. Why not?
king is dead. Long live the king. You must face him on your terms, in this world, in a place of your choosing. It's your only chance. Sail to Skellige and find the Sunstone. With it, you will summon the Nargofair. Eredin will come too. Should he call for reinforcements, no NL will answer. You have done the thing most just. A new portal to Tien Aliar will open. I shall stabilize it and you will return. Come with me. Eh, it felt a bit rushed. I feel like that was supposed to be a longer quest, but they didn't have time. Just as well. Could have been bluffing. Might have just said that so we'd let him go. Damn it. We should have pressed him. Calm down. Avalok knows him better. We'll hear him out when he returns. Speak of the devil. Geralt's worried. He believes we let girls go too easily. Can never be too careful. Agreed. Yet I do believe girls will keep his word. Withhold support from Eredin. Seems to me you have a plan. Care to share it with us? Once we find the Sunstone, aided by your sorceresses and their magic, we shall draw Eredin's ship to a bay along the coast of Undvik. We will wait in ambush, lay a trap. When the King of the Hunt arrives, we will spring it and kill him. Just like that? Defeating Eredin will be no small feat, but we will accomplish it. Find the sorceresses of the lodge, and we'll meet at the port. Then we sail to Skellige. Couldn't help it. Grew curious about this little matter you have to resolve. When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We need to go to Temple Isle. Don't remember you being religious? Nor am I now. Let's go. Almost there. Where are we going exactly? To see Horson Jr. Bit late for that. He's dead. I asked Sultan, and he said Horson's alive and well on Temple Isle. I was there, stuck a sword in his gut. Your hand must have slipped, because it seems he's recovered. Oh, swell. Well, that would explain why his henchmen are still running around everywhere. I was wondering why after I killed him.
Why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. What? Here to see Mr. Wiley. Mr. Wiley's expecting important guests. So bugger off, you... you... Chance! Make a deal, maybe? Uh... Yeah. Yeah. A deal. Go on upstairs. Boss is waiting. That was... Strange. To say the least. I wonder what they're doing. We'll know soon enough. Well, who do we have here? Finally found your little ward. Took your sweet fucking time. Seems in fine health to me. Ah, because you thought you killed me that time. Surprise the fucking prize. Shut your trap, witch! Before somebody fills that hole for you. Enough! I'll finish what you started. Whoa, whoa, stop, it's me, Dudu, Dudu Bieberfeld. You really didn't recognize me. Did you? Wait, Siri. After the heist, after Dijkstra's vault was emptied, you vanished. How'd I find you? Quick. Butcher's Yard, the Mama's Plate, Priscilla's. You dragged me onto the stage. Sheathe your sword, Siri. It's Doodoo. God! You give me quite the scare. Wouldn't have had to if you hadn't impersonated Horson. What the blazes were you thinking? Once we'd fled, I'd no idea what to do. I could only hide for so long. They'd find me sooner or later. It wasn't our decision. We knew he was dead, but not many others had caught on. That was my chance. No one mourned for Horson Jr. In all his miserable life, he'd never helped a soul. Amusingly, once dead, he became a useful member of society. They say everyone deserves a second chance. Seems true enough. Orson got his. In a way. Sharing it. With a Doppler named Doodoo. -Doo. That was courageous, Doodoo. -Doo. I'd never expect it from you. Neither would I. Oh, by the way. You've no idea at the relief I feel you're alive and well. And I'm relieved I didn't slit your throat. Chose an interesting line of business. Dudu's always had a head for numbers. What's a few brothels and casinos? He'll manage. That's the thing. I don't need to. Two weeks after Wiley died, I announced I'd seen the light of the eternal fire. Sold all the illegal enterprises. I'm a blue water trader now. Horson's men didn't protest? I've contacts in the guilds. Run a thriving trade. Profits are twice what they were before. To Wiley's men, a purse twice as heavy means twice as much respect for the men handing it to them. Be careful. You could get found out. Wiley's men are too stupid to catch on. His colleagues ain't much better. Mind you, even you were fooled. And that might have ended very badly for you. True. I get a bit carried away at times. But mostly I'm careful. Time's up. Right. We must still go by the Golden Sturgeon. It was nice to see you both. And take care of yourselves. You too. So long, Dudu. Well... Why are we going to the Sturgeon? To see a girl who had words. Who might that be? A friend of Dandelion's. Her name's B. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. 
I will wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The temple guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. I visited a city once that was very much like Novigrad, but the people there were much taller and had dark skin. This somewhere in Zeracania? No, in another world. Hmm. What's it like, hopping between worlds? Anything like passing through a portal? Or different? Hmm, a bit different. It was hard going at first. I wasn't very good at controlling it, so I had to concentrate intensely and hope I didn't land in the crater of an active volcano. The training I did with Avalok was very helpful. Now, I merely think of the place I wish to travel to, close my eyes, and it's done. I'll be with you in a minute. How can I be of service? Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right place. A better rate you'll not find anywhere in the city. Thank you. chance should have taken it i spit on anything you give me you'll regret that you cow mind your manners you're talking to a lady stay out of this this is not your concern sure it is you're a fucking freak too he is very dangerous at that the butcher of white orchard what'd he do there trim the trees Eugen. he slew half the village Drag the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. Oh my That's ass, I did. Place your friend's offering. S sorry. Thank you. I say more determined this time. Shouldn't cross them. I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh my, it's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning. Thanks, but we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. Okay. Now we have to see the tailor. So, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt. 
How terrible. What I say? Oh, that's right. Siri is a lesbian. I forgot. The camp lives on traveling circus performers, non humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met because the temple guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valda. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. You know the rest. Where's this friend of yours? There! Valdo! Siri, you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello. What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. You would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so not to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Oh, this is doing a lot to humanize Siri that the rest of the game completely failed to do. Gives Siri an identity beyond a person who runs from things, which is what basically the rest of the game is. You're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We have several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon, round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. Worked out nicely, don't you think? What are you talking about? You and Triss. Never expected it, to be honest. Life's full of surprises. So... 
How did the two of you end up together? <laughs> With Yen, it was fight after fight, lots of arguments, drama. Not saying it was bad, but. But what? Got to be exhausting. With Triss, it's not. I finally feel harmony, a calm. I feel like things are the way they're supposed to be. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Oh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town, not worry a whit about anything. Good plan. I think I'll go with you. Then our future's settled. If, that is, there's more than ash left of us once this is over. Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalanx, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. Don't worry about that yet. One thing at a time. You do know you can always count on me. Whatever happens. I do. Thank you, Geralt. <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Meaning? Ordinary. Your life is yours, exclusively. You choose who you are. Now, Geralt, you know that's never been true. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. Granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands. Not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so... You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalach will ask you for a favor. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves. Bonfires, wine, jugglers. What more could you ask for? I could name a few things I'd trade it for, but it's a life. You seem concerned. Things not go well with the merchant. <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. You need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Oh, uh, okay. Gotta be another way to solve this. It just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. I believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. This is a very strange quest. Unlike all the other quests that you do during final preparations, it's very 
low key and low stakes. I mean, in one quest, we're assassinating a king, we're hopping between worlds to recruit an elf lord, Agar, and now we're stealing horses. <laughs> Siri and I will try to get inside. All right. Hard to find good guards these days. Quiet. You'll wake them. Excellent work. Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valdo farewell. All right. See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. Now I should just have... Yennefer to deal with. I like the name of that quest, Payback, because the first thing you do is you go and you meet Horson Jr., so you assume Payback is going to be killing him. But then, turns out Horson Jr. is actually Doo-Doo, and... All the other quests are actually paying people back for their kindness, so it's it's not the kind of payback that you're led to believe it is. Honor in the fatherland. Oh. So I'm guessing one of the ladies in here is a member of the Lodge. Because, you know, who would look for a sorceress here? Buy you a drink? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlerith, was that your idea or series? Mine. Lying didn't always come so easily to you. 
If you intend to. I was about to say, it's nice that you protect her. And you did the right thing to go with her. I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. Talk to Triss. Reconvening the lodge? It's not going so well. Dangerous times, especially for sorceresses. Each thinks five times before sticking her neck out, and I can't blame them. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? You'll find out soon. In the meantime, tell me about Philippa. Triss and I found her and freed her. It turned out Dijkstra had her, but the situation's under control. That's a relief. So, gonna tell me why you're here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenfurt. I also learned the identity of the man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Darrod. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. like to talk. Damn. Best run and get him. Did Geralt seriously just get shoved aside by an old man with dirt on his face? Maybe if I can get on the damn ladder. There we go. <laughs> How do I catch him? Oh, come on. Thank you. <laughs> Thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be. Calm down. We just want to chat. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me. No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, well, so be it. But we, uh... We really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. So all well, that was completely pointless. Okay, thanks. A bad chasing minigame. Whatever, it's over. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Darod. Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll they'll lock you up lickety split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Darod alive. Aye, ah, so they say. I thought, why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. 
didn't start burning them until they learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So you played dead. No one caught on? As a youth, I'd apprentice with an apothecary in Silverton. Learned a thing or two about herbs. Sleeping mushrooms grew on the walls of my cell. And I found Belladonna in the prison yard. Just had to mash them together and eat the pulp an hour before evening rounds. You might have lost your life. I prefer to die on my own terms, were that to be my fate. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. Choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you only knew what they do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? Oh, not officially, but you know how it is. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What he said about the guards could prove handy. True. Things will go more smoothly if we can get even a few of them drunk. Zoltan ought to manage it. I'll ask him. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. Well, I wish this section of the game was longer, with everybody in one place and they're all working together. It's much more interesting than, you know, the entire first nine-tenths of the game. <laughs> but oh well. The mage has left town and the hunters have taken to harass and non-humans. A dwarf flinging around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. I learned it from Dandelion himself, who is forever telling stories of you and your adventures together, of your hunt for the dragon, and how you outfoxed the Sylvan midst the hemp, of the battle for the bridge, and how he saved you from bandits. I'd like to hear that one sometime myself. One never tires of Dandelion's tales and ballads. I all will be amazed when I tell them the wolf himself takes joy in listening to them. Now, tell me how I may be of service. Something to wait your time. You worked here long? Earlier, I mean. Under old Mr. Wiley. Why me? I 
answered a notice. What did it say? Help wanted to assist in the oversight of an exclusive establishment with refined diversions. A baccalaureate freshly gained, ten years of tavern experience, a plus of knowledge of the common tongue, elder tongue, and contemporary poetry. Why? Hmm. Wouldn't you have been better off staying at the academy, or...? <laughs> I never passed the entrance exam. Neither do I know a lick of elder, though I can indeed play a ditty for free. <laughs> Also, I've committed all Master Dandelion's works to memory. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, that'd do it. What do you have to drink that's good? He has nothing I want. Okay. Okay, let's head to Oxenford, and I think this will be the last of the final preparations, and then I'll be going into the end game. Oh, what the hell, I'll just fast travel there. Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. Sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novograd's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's urban roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one's thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. The mark of a dangerous guilt you wear. This is it. Hmm. Boulder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemophart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. Not coming. Mucking through ruins and sewers? Hmm rather leave it to the expert. Meaning you'd rather waltz in once the hard work's done. Wet clothes. Oh joy.
Damn, you're ugly. stuff. was broken, missing a piece. Replace it with something else, maybe? Oh, I saw a mechanism in the other room. Maybe I can cannibalize that. Brittle. 
All right, this must be the prison. Lovely. Okay, come on. Can we... Thank you. Okay. Not too sure what the point of this is. Let's go to the prison. die in here. Sheila. They captured her first. Her condition's critical. It's pointless. We'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back. Great. I found two of the lodge members. Oh, 
Okay, come on. Did Geralt not even have his freaking sword out? Is that what was going on there? Yeah, it's okay. You can block. I get it. Die. No archers, thank you very much. Oh, fuck you. God. Get out of the way. Where the hell did he come from? Jesus. Counters don't work. Signs don't work. Blocks everything.
Fuck you. What are you doing? Yen insisted on coming. Rita! Sheila! When I get my hands on the sons of bitches... Yenna! I shan't make it. Hold on! You must hold on! <laughs> I'm dying, Yana. I'm a sorceress. Let me die with dignity. Yen, we should go. Nothing we can do to save her. No, but we can help her die the way she wants to. I will. Yeah, I figured you would. Come. We must hurry, or we'll lose Rita, too. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Fine. Like portals anyway. Go. I've already killed everybody anyway. Shouldn't be a problem. And you just fly through levels when you get this high, don't you? Most of the other times I was playing, I was getting like maybe one level a day, and I was playing a good four hours a day. Need to find another way out. All right, I'll go cut through one of those sewer entrances then. But ever since I started doing this, everything in Care More, and I'm getting two or three levels a day. Okay, here we go. I can find a way out of here. Isn't this the house that Horson was in? It is. That's a odd double back. Leave me be. You're breathless. The stench of rotted teeth 
Fuck you, move. Let me talk to this person. Leave her alone. Why is that? Want us to plow you? Is that it? Doable, but you'll have to hide that mug in a sec. Let the woman go. Then we can flirt. Look at that. Vaker Mutt's giving us orders. Needs to know his place. Fuck him up. Told, I'd have managed on my own, but thank you. You'd have managed it? Managed those men by yourself? Of course. Knee to the bollocks, elbow to the throat. Job done. <laughs> Walk you home? Hey now, I'm grateful, sure, but I'll not demonstrate that in the alcove. Walk you home, that's it. Hmm. In that case, yes. Come. Master Witcher, do you always help folk for free? Sometimes for free, usually for pay. Phew, I was afraid you were abnormal. Are you... Here it is. Really, you needn't have troubled yourself. Mm -hmm. Forgot. Could have managed it on your own. Well, don't let me get in your way. Farewell. No, ah, uh. yeah, fuck you too.
Geralt had to face Aradin, but could only hope to beat him with the help of friends. The Wild Hunt could be defeated with exceptionally powerful magic, so Triss and Yen set out to reconvene the Lodge of Sorceresses. Avalach, too, began to lay plans of his own. The Elven Sage decided to erode the King of the Hunt's support in his own realm. With Geralt in tow, he ventured through other worlds to the city of Tirnaliyan. There they found Aradin's viceroy, Gels. Gels had been a loyal subject of the Alder Folk's previous king. When he learned Aradin was a regicide, he agreed to help defeat the usurper. All right, how far back am I going to have to go? Oh, okay, that's not too bad. Loading, loading, loading. There we go. Lollygagging. Happiness well, will come to me. For you know neither the day the nor the hour. I see it all around. It's a material world. Here we go. Just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. Then talk to them. Not like they're out to bite you. If they do, I'll bite back. So what's the problem? I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Shilo will not join in this endeavor. But the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, 
And to marry some princeling and become your puppet? You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. No equality in the lodge? That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him. I don't trust you. But that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. <laughs> Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands. You're one to talk. See it. We will assure you knowledge and protection. But you shall be your own rudder, captain, and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you fear. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. I like how Helena... Is that her name, Helena? Anyway, she doesn't have eyes. So? Doesn't seem to bother any. She just still looks at people. <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. I hope she's... She'll be fine. She's tougher than we think. You ought to visit Avalach. He wished to see you, apparently. Philippa, that's right. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a Fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. I hear right. You convince the Emperor to pardon them? Provided they help us defend Ciri. Hmm. Got a hard time believing Emperor would go in for a deal like that. If you can't believe it, don't. I don't need you to. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? 
Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Hmm. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Yeah, let's go. Anchors away. I want to beat this thing today, please, very much. We've returned to Velen, we've returned to Novigrad, now we're returning to Skellige. Oh shit. Well, that settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. Sweet. Oh boy. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. But once you're on board, 
Show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised, and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the ML. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Dallas, please. I absolutely love elven legends. Galban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet she spurned him. <clears throat> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. <laughs> the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstone's in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. Final preparations, my butt. You've just given me more preparations. All right. Let's sneak onto the Emperor's flagship. Boring as fucking shit. You sure fucking show that icy horse Best blade's not worth shade of a week. I'm not 100% sure I'm supposed to do this by boat, but I'm going to try it by boat first.
Okay. We'll swim in. And we'll just avoid those lights. Almost surfaced there. <laughs> Hold! It's the Witcher! Emperor's orders! Stand down! Okay, how do I get up? Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. You're insolent because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards! Bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her Dimeritium shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses. They're on Ginvale, near Ard Skellig. We can take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. And I despise teleports. But have it your way. Let's go. That was simple enough. Oh, I'm so tired of loading. Fringilla Vigo. Philip, a pleasure as always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must be. Oh my. Wait, none of them seem to like each other. Wolf, 
Did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs? They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now we've seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Adventure seeker. And I've always wondered, what do you witches do once there are no basilisks? May your axe never crumble. I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the Black Ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding Moorhawk than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then, go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Holy shit, Ermion killed Lugos all by himself. Come on, come closer. Uh. 
Well, Geralt, I see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crack's blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. Yeah, that happened 24 so, hours ago. Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. <laughs> An agreement. Only Krach believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, end even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Crack's will, or failed. Ah, uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermion, know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Urberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlong. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlong? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm, not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. <laughs> nothing personal. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. They must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Ah, uh, gods protect us. So to follow up on this, I'm going to have to talk to a bard or a pearl diver. 
Oh, I love Skellige. It's so down to earth. Lady Brandon for our son should fair, I think, Grace. Swords on his back. One of them. Next. Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today is the day Gavorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. A serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. 
Avon. What? I... <sighs> Just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe Elves, under Ermion's tutelage. Ermion? Man never cared a whit about the Elves of the Mountains. I've seen through you, you can write it. Cut me the bits if you like, I'll never tell you about the cavern! <sighs> oh. Well, I tried. Hey, maybe if both of the options weren't lies, I could have gotten through that okay. Faster. Slow now. Whoa. I need to talk to that blacksmith. I haven't repaired in a while. Don't deceive me. You're the white wolf. Warrior, lover, philosopher extraordinaire. Someone's fed you a lot of... And a friend of the great master Dandelion himself. The great master Dandelion. Hey, who built you a monument more lasting than any of bronze. When next you see him, white wolf, please convey the great esteem in which I, Sigurd, hold his many achievements. Oh, I'll be sure to tell him exactly what I think of his tales. It would be a disgrace to censor such an artist. Though a smith by trade, I too do my best work in words. Wouldn't mind a look at your wares. Maybe this guy has the treasure maps I've been looking for. I don't see any. Nope, he doesn't got him. See ya. I hate this horse. I hate it. Can we go up? Up. Oh, fuck you, horse. I'll walk. I need to be going out to that lighthouse anyway.
must be the Pearl Diver's boat. That's kind of what I figured. He's got an underwater cave. He's not staying underwater for hours at a time. He's got an air bubble. What's a witcher doing here? Run out of pearls. Not your concern, but the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife, but a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Plan to return the bodies to their families at least? I mean, once you're done. They speak true. Mutants got nothing resembling refined sentiments. Look at them. You think their ever-loving mums and wifeys want to see them in this state? The sea will bury them. And that's that. Risking a lot. Boy, that a threat or something? Don't need to worry about me. But I heard calls underwater. Monsters must have sensed blood. I don't hear nothing. Ordinary folk never hear these things till it's too late. We best get out of here, Matthias. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Ermian. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold. In a cove you can only reach from the sea. We got nothing else for you, so if you're done, we'd rather get back up top. I'm done. And good idea. I don't care about the damn lantern, Geralt.
Okay. Fuck you and your blocking. Die. I don't care if they can block. When I have this big a level advantage, they should just die. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalok's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalok mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Hard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Oh, I'd forgotten how irritated she can be. Come, Siri. <laughs> You're one to talk, Yennefer. She is exactly like you. That was funny. Yeah, that's really damn close to the Emperor. Inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy.
So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try it. Yappa Ligon! I don't trust these fire elementals. They're going to come to life. Oh. You don't want to get hit by that, Siri. Look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hmm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. It seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow it doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh, what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth. Oh boy, that's quite a family tree. Genealogical chart of the Enhanicare, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me? You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the parts of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? 
If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Laura's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Let's look at his notes. Gods. He spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volka? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri, but it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ciri's, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. Standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. How did you get in here? Who are you? Not your concern. Get out of here. Now. You. I remember you. From Tin Aliar. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? to spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri. You didn't actually believe her, did you? She's, uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! Siri... What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I've really liked you now.
Oh, this is childish. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Not sure we really learned anything from that quest, but okay. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it, Siri? Skjall is dead. Wild hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You're sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. around should be a relatively fresh grave mound thank you for coming i detest graveyards especially wandering them alone let's look around together come on lasse son of njord olaf son of ova inga daughter of chortnir He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. I think the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Beyond the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night.
are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The wild hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the specters be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves... Well... It's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said... Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. I have no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. Back to the boat. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to get through this. I must get through this. Level 33 now. Be level 34 for the next wolf school upgrades. That's got that to look forward to. Let's we'll see if I get to level 34. go there by boat I have no idea if I can even get through this way but I'll try looks like I can good that'll cut some travel time off
ancient crypt. Okay. Just wonderful. I say, look at this. Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakan. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damn thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. <laughs> oh, Geralt. Stop being a smartass. Well, I remember when I used to dread the sight of wraiths. Now I'm just like, whatever. Good night. I actually tried to play this game back in January, and it rage quit because of wraiths. I just, I couldn't do them. They'd kill me, and I'd have to sit through a minute-long load just to try again. They'd kill me again. One day, it just happened so often, I just quit. I was done. Obviously, I'm having much better success this game. Yeah, well, mucking about and carrying is what I do, so let me do it. Just taking a look around for chess here. And getting caught on stalactites. Or stalagmites, actually. Stalactites are the kind that hang from the ceiling. You can tell the difference because stalagmites have a G in it, and stalactites have a C in it. So G for ground, C for ceiling.
There's a chest. With absolutely nothing useful in it, but oh well. I'm kind of that point in the game where very few things are going to be useful to me. Because I have already found all the useful things. Sometimes I doubt you three realize how it works. Triss plays the big sister to Cyril, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a fivesome, there's clearly no room. Yeah, that occurred to me too. <laughs> kind of a fucked up situation. That's a big monster. Ouch! That... Yikes. Yikes. That... Yeah. Wow. Oh, shit. Shit. What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> That wasn't too bad. Superior decoction, wow. How did he get this deep in? Okay, what's the clue here? Yikes, okay. Hey! Oh. 
Oh, nope. That was not the solution. Okay. Oh, hello. Ha, got it. Okay. Found that by accident. Oh, okay. Yeah, great. This would be fun to navigate with the incredibly unresponsive controls this game has. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You put this puzzle in this game where you can't really turn? You can turn, but you're not going to be able to turn at the precision this puzzle wants you to turn with. I am not happy with this puzzle. Look at that, look at that, just to cast the spell, I stepped on him. Oh, this is bullshit. Ah. Oh. Fire the person who designed this. They. Ugh. God. Don't put a precision platforming puzzle in a game that does not have precision platforming. Duh! It's like, don't put horse races in a game where your horse hand controls are garbage and are fundamentally broken. But they did that anyway, too. Look at that. That's how it- that's what you have to do to turn around. And I'm supposed to- ugh. I'm supposed to navigate this. This is... Seriously the worst thing I've seen in Witcher 3 so far. Oh, God. Unbelievably... It's just unbelievable this is in this game. What were they thinking? Their game is not capable of a puzzle like this. God. Notice the tension between Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Siri, I think. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Siri, but eagerly awaits the chance to pop in bed with you. you.
Lucy? What now? It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, in blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearman of the Elven Legend. Do you literally read nothing? Boy, Yen is just a cuddly kitten next to this woman. There you are. Jennifer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No, Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I, I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Amir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her, so once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Redania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. This deal with Emir. It's sorcerous business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Yeah, she can decide for herself, which is why you saying she will be empress is a problem. Which is why you stay away from her. No, we're not a pack of wolves. You can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can. If the need arises.
Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion. A ridiculous bauble. It made me laugh. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Arahan Luma! is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to ship the mirrors. Oh yeah, a mirror pushing puzzle. Stop spinning it in circles and activate the item. Thank you. I figured that was a solution, although it's not much of a puzzle if I just have to find every switch and pull it once. That's it? At last. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. 
No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Siri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. I wouldn't worry. Emperor's got plans for you, I'm sure. Stop playing with Jester and listen to me carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Siri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because? If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. Wow. Triss might object. They don't even try to make this character likable. Give Yennefer some friendly advice, would you? She'll listen to you. You want to take Yen's place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. Holding her in the Imperial Dungeon would be costly. And it would give the wrong impression. Any other words of wisdom? Or can we go? You may go. I know you have things to do. I can find my own way back. Jeez. Is everything ready this time? I've already done a question called Final Preparations, which you know, final, and yet it wasn't the final preparations. Shoot. Oh, here's a chest. Okay. With nothing useful in it, but okay. I found a chest. That's what's important.
Wow. That's a hole. Nothing terribly useful inside of it, but it's still a hole of items. I don't think I've ever seen that many chests in one place. Oh, come on, horse. Let's go. Oh, why do the roads never go in the direction it looks like they're going to go? Fast travel, Jesus Christ. I don't care about the torch, Geralt. Fast travel. Yes, Geralt. Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Erid in here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. 
didn't mention you were the ML Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, elder blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. Ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm hmm. A she elf. Claimed you hate Ciri. So, how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. Tell me something more about Karanthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eridin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. Charming world you and El have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? And then you murder us, without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enche elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same. Simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Aridin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Fleet. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Eredin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. Well then, I think this is the end of the game. And they told me I couldn't do it this weekend. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... 
Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. Really? Seems to me you'd started already. We were discussing questions of a magic nature. Nothing of great interest to you. Right. Because I'm just a simple witcher. Simple, yet with so many complexes. Not now, Geralt. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it. With your help, naturally. Wow. Emir's being generous with his resources. He's halted his entire Skellige campaign to help us. Not doing it just to be nice, believe me. He's doing it for the same reason we all are. Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Siri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess. Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Well, can't say you're wrong there. Huh. I thought I could at least count on you to treat me seriously. Never treat you any other way. You know that. You can't defeat Eredin. Don't stand a chance. Damn it, I don't know if I can. So stay away from him. Far away. Cyril. Do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The elder blood can be fiery. Didn't sound convinced. No. But I can't very well tie her up and teleport her away, can I? Hmm. Definitely advise against trying that. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats amongst the soldiers. Triss, everything all right? Yes. I, I just wanted a moment to talk to you before... before it begins. Chin up. The hunt's weakened. We've got... No, no more about the battle. Just... look at me. And say something nice. All this snow... Makes me think of Kovir. Then what do you think about? That it's like this all year there, dark and cold. And you know what? It won't bother me one bit. It won't? No. Because the days, yeah, days might be short. But the nights, nights will be long. I can't wait. Unbelievable. You said something romantic. You, Geralt of Rivia. Moment of weakness. Well, none of those during the battle, please. If anything should happen to you. I'll manage. You always say that. I haven't killed me yet. Well, except for that one time. Uh, <laughs> try, to be funny. try? 
Take it back. That was a great joke. <laughs> sure. I love you, you know. You trying to make me cry? Siri never let me forget it. Go on, get. Spy or hacker? Show me where you're peddling. Hey, I think I've sold stuff to this guy before. <laughs> He's got a lot of crap in his inventory. Uh, no treasure maps. I'm not sure there's even any treasure maps left for me to find. With pleasure, Geralt. With pleasure. Oh boy, here we go. Give you my heart. What kind of spell is that? It's an old love letter. Ancient. As I said, this stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eridin. En verilith Sirenard. Ada Eich Blaine Idene. Elven bauble worked. They approach.
completely still. It's a trap. We must flee now. Not this time. Notes you there. You are not ready. You do not control your powers. I'll manage. Silly. Get out of my way. Silly. The ice. It's a spell. You must find the mage who cast it. Destroy his stuff. I'll not stop with his staff. Oh, can I do something, please? Holy shit! I can get used to this. So be it. Let us end this. Yes, please. You cannot win. Even should you kill me.
Damn it. Hey, good job destroying your own elementals, dude. Not that they're really helping you all that much anyway. Shh. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Really? Ugh. That was... That was bullshit. Come on, we're not even using the whole world. You don't need to load the whole world.
Oh boy. Oh, where's he taking me? Oh, you bastard. I was thinking, should I take some killer whale? But no, nah, it's not gonna be a problem. So why did he teleport me to the bottom of the ocean? Why didn't he teleport me into solid rock or teleport me into a volcano? They've already talked about that being a possibility. I mean, if you can teleport literally anywhere and you're going to use it to commit suicide and take your enemy with you, commit to it. Hey, dude, I get it. obnoxious. Alright, fuck this, I'm going. Croc. Any last words? 
Wait. I hit him for zero, is that what that said? Nah, I'm hurting him. A little bit. Okay, I'm only going to get one hit off him at a time. Got it. happened. I'm so tired of loading. Come on. I probably don't want to get hit by that. Can I counter him, I wonder? Doesn't look like it. No, no countering. Okay. That doesn't surprise me any. Go off the cliff, of course. Okay, <laughs> it was worth a try. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, that's right, got you done to a third.
Oh! Yeah, that Ken sign hits like a bitch, doesn't it? Why can't I move? Oh. Because he's running away. Ha! <laughs> Back to the boat, eh? Okay, so that whole movement to that location was completely pointless. Gotcha. Ouch, nice. What the hell is going on? Thank you. <laughs> the king is dead. Oh, 
it keeps going, of course. What a long-winded story. Damn it! And I was kind of trusting Avalok. We need to focus on Siri. What do you think Avalok wants from her? Same as Eridan, I imagine. He will use her to open the gate between the worlds. Shit! An earthquake. We must hurry. I'm not 100% sure this will save us time. Horses suck. Let's go, Yen. You said follow you, and then you're just standing there. Oh, God. I hate horses. Can we just not ride horses? How about we walk there? How about that, huh? Go, Yen. Supposed to be following you, and you are just standing there. Ah! Well, move then. I cannot follow you because you are constantly standing still, and these horses suck. Ah! Oh. Stupid fucking horses. You know, if I designed a game that had something in it that was fundamentally broken, but I hadn't taken it out, like horsing in Witcher 3, I wouldn't put a set piece at the very end of the game that highlights how broken my mechanic is. I just wouldn't do it. Of course, I wouldn't release a game like Witcher 3 with something as fundamentally broken as the horses are, so... Whatever. I'm not gonna follow Yen this time, I'm just gonna go. Fuck you, Yen. You are a terrible guide. I will just go. Oh, come on. Ugh. So this is it. This, this is the final leg of the game is running from RNG fireballs that one hut kill you. Why? Why, why do you do this?
running from fireballs that appear randomly that can kill you in one hit on a horse that constantly fights the direction you're trying to steer in and stops randomly. This is... terrible. I don't understand why you would put this at the very end of your game, why you want this to be the one of the primary memories that a person comes out at the end of the game with, is this. Why? Yeah, I know, you're a horse and you stop randomly. Thanks very much. Come on, let's move. Go, go, go. I don't want to stay together. I want to get through this so I can beat this game. Because I don't know why they would stick this awful thing here. Horse part at least. Alright, here we go. Maybe this will finally be the end of the game, or maybe they'll throw another plot twist at me. for 
that. No chance, you're wrong. Trusted you once, won't make that mistake again. I am not your foe. I am merely helping Cirilla. I don't believe you. Can't. Not after all that's happened. Will you believe me? Avalark speaks the truth. I asked him to help me open the town. Because I aim to enter it. Didn't think it worthwhile to tell me. Warn me of your plans. I'm sorry, I know, I should have. But I feared you'd not understand. <sighs> Feels like I'm talking to Yennefer. Leave with me, please. I will go. Once I emerge from the tower. If I emerge. Why the hell would you do this? The Wild Hunt's been defeated. The White Frost has not. Stop the white frost. Only I can stop it. You don't have to make this sacrifice. You're wrong. The white frost is inevitable. It will come to freeze the world one after the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's got to be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witcher. This is my story, not yours. Yeah, I figured that out a long time ago. Siri is the main character of The Witcher 3, not Geralt.
You're really killing the drama here. The gentleman will follow. Okay, go somewhere so I can follow you. Report. The Novigrad delegation is half a day's travel from here. They truly are rushing. Return to your post. Yes, sir. What of Novigrad's hierarch? What of him? Will he get his will earned rest or will be sent straight to Dan Rua? His end is a calm. This Imperial Majesty awaits. Enough. Speak. Siri is dead. How did it happen? The white cold. They're familiar with the prophecy. Siri tried to stop it. She did, but paid the ultimate price. Where is the body? I doubt it'll ever be found. Who else knows? Avalach, Elven Sage. But I doubt you'll find him either. And Yennefer? She's decided to stay in the north. Provided you don't object. I don't. And you? That's none of your business. Not anymore. Mm. Did Cyrilla say... Did she ask you to convey anything? We didn't talk about you. I see. If there's nothing else... There is, but you may go. Witcher! I do not wish to see you... ever again. So was it a lie, or did Siri actually die? I'm hoping it was a lie. I think I, I feel like I pretty carefully did everything, so I think I should have gotten the good ending. Need help with your wagon? I think we'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, you betcha. We'll manage. True, the barrels are ample, but we shall pour some off of each soon. Change is coming. True, no denying it. Nilfgaard flees, yet here it seemed nothing could move them. Left their wine behind too. That's generous. Sure you don't need any help? I believe we will manage. Where are you headed? Nearest inn, by the looks of it. Yeah. Supposed to meet someone first, at the former campsite of the North Guardians. We take care now.
So, you know, this I don't mind. I'm taking their time in an epilogue. It's just when it's ending after ending after ending after ending, and it just never ends. That's what I lose patience with. I'm in White Orchard, okay. Master Ort. You're late. Soldiers. Blocking the roads, I know. No matter. You have it? As agreed. 38 and a half inch blade. Weight, just under 40 ounces. Silver plated siderite steel core. Glyphs and runes, both the length of the blade and on the hilt. It's for Siri. Been in this trade for three decades. Only the best swordsman of the coin for my wares. When I say no Witcher has, or ever had a better weapon. You ought to trust me. Reputation precedes you, Master Hort. I'd never doubt you. The inscription, as you asked. Zirael. Swallow. Classic Elder Speech runes. No styling. Simple and precise. May I? It is yours. If you'd like to test it, have my lackeys put out a training dummy. Mm-hmm. Your payment. Gems only, as requested. If you've an eye out for work, heard a striggers prowl in the Maribor forest. Thanks. Need to visit the tavern first, but after, who knows? Good luck on the path, Witcher. Yep. It's a sword for Siri. Please don't ruin this moment for me, Roach. I'm very pleased to be at the end of the game. Don't ruin it for me. Yes. 
And where it begins is where it shall end. Yay! Is it done? Yes. Did he believe you? I have no idea. For the cockatrice. And we've a new contract. It won't pay much, but I think it's worth the toil. You've been busy. It's yours. A witcher's sword. Swallow. Ooh, beautiful. May I? Not here. You'll have ample opportunity soon enough, witcher. Let's try it out then. Yay! Ah. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novigrad and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, Temerians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, Emir of Vardemris did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him, traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellica bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dulled. Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kobir. Hard as it may be to believe, Geralt planted roots in faraway Kobir. He and Triss settled down, their home warm and smelling of freshly baked cakes. Guests were always welcome, no matter the day or the hour. The witcher would take jobs at times more from habit than need, for Triss earned a true fortune as the mage advisor to Kovir's king. So this has been The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. As part of my big RPG weekend, this is the game that I have been playing for the past couple weekends, for the past couple months. 
obviously there's still a lot more. There's a lot of side quests. Well, not a lot, actually. But there's still some side quests I haven't done. I'm going to come back to those at a later date. I also have the Hearts of Stone DLC to play and the Blood and Wine DLC to play. So I think I'm really, in the end, only about halfway through the game. <laughs> but I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. So I'm walking away from this game for a while. Next weekend, for Big RPG Weekend, I will be beginning... Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE. It's a ridiculous name. I hope it's a ridiculous game. I hope it's a good game. I haven't played a Shin Megami Tensei game before. I'm not a huge fan of Fire Emblem, but we'll see how good it is. Hopefully it'll be good. Please tune in for that if you're interested. This has been Critical Bites and the Big RPG Weekend with The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Death March playthrough. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful night.